Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a love and romance reading for my dearest fellow Virgos. This is going to be your reading for February 2021. What I'm going to do is I'm going to read your energy on the left, your person's energy on the right, and we're going to see what's happening between you guys right down the middle. Now at any point in time, feel free to swap the energies that I may be picking up on. Also, I urge you guys to play with time. This could be a past connection, a current relationship, or an energy that's moving towards you in February 2021. Also, before I get started, I'm just going to ask that you guys like this video and subscribe to the channel. Um, and check out the description box if you would like a private reading or if you like the decks that I'm using. I do have them listed and linked in order of appearance. Okay, my dear Virgos, so let's go ahead and see what's going on with you and your person in February 2021. All right, messages for my Virgos for February 2021. Messages for Virgos, please. February 2021. Messages for Virgos. February 2021. All right. So Virgos, you guys are coming out as the King of Cups. Beautiful. A lot of love here. You see your person as the two of cups in, in reverse. So you might have water in your chart or connected to a water sign, but you see the relationship as destiny, as the wheel of fortune. Your person is showing up as the tower in reverse. They may be a Scorpio or an Aries. They see you as the nine of swords and the relationship as the six of wands, as a beautiful victory. All right, what's going on between you guys? We have the knight of swords. We have the world. Ooh, Virgo, you might have a soulmate in your midst. And we have the five of cups. Okay. So overall energy, Virgo, we have the nine of pentacles. This is your energy. This is Vir Venus and Virgo. You could be dealing with another Virgo or you could be dealing with a water sign. Okay. Um, okay. But nine of pentacles is telling me, Virgo, if you guys are single, I think you know who you want to offer your cup of love to, or you're not going to be single for very long, but it will require you walking away from something or someone. Okay. So let's go ahead and see how this plays out in this reading. So Virgo, you guys are showing up as divine masculine energy, the king of cups, somebody who's nurturing, creative, intuitive. Um, it's very sort of paternal energy, somebody who's looking for something stable, um, maybe even wanting to create a family with this person. Okay. You're seeing your person as a two of cups in reverse. So many of you may be in separation from this person, or you're trying to figure out how to come towards this person. Your person may also be really working on healing something because I'm seeing that they're going through some sort of difficulty. They might be trying to clean up after some sort of mess, after some sort of job loss, after a um, change of, of home or something that really rocked their foundation. I see that you can tell that they're going through a sort of a dark night of the soul. Okay. So two of cups, so you see them as your person, but I do feel as if, you know, you're looking lovingly at them, even though you guys are currently not together or there's an emotional distance between you. But you do see this relationship as the wheel of fortune, as your destiny, as something that's written in the stars. Now, your person is showing up as the tower in reverse. So they've been through something really difficult or they're resisting some sort of change. Now, the tower in reverse, Scorpio and Aries energy. This is pretty big, okay? So I do feel like, Virgo, you are holding space for this person as they go through something that's um, that's really quite heavy, okay? It could be anything. Now, they're seeing you as the Nine of Swords in reverse, so I think they recognize that their behaviors or what they're going through has a huge effect on you, okay? But it, it, you seem to be pretty emotionally balanced, but I think they also see you as really worried about losing this connection or really worried about what's going on with them. It's very sort of sweet energy. And remember Virgos, we're, we are a sign of service, very loving and very nurturing. So we do have a tendency to worry about, you know, our loved ones, but your, per your person sees this relationship as a victory, as a six of wands. So you guys could be married or maybe you guys are planning on getting married, but I feel like your person has to really deal with this first, whatever this might be. Now, we have the Knight of Swords in between you guys. So this is about alignment. This is about, I, I think you guys both have a really healthy grasp of where this relationship is going or could go. And I feel like communication has been very direct. That's why I'm kind of picking up on Virgo, you being really cool. 
um, cooler than usual, even though you're seeing your person, you're, you're separate from your person. I feel as if you know you're not going to be single for long. Or again, this person maybe said, hey, I've got to go somewhere. I've got to clean up this mess. I've got to figure this out. Okay. And they are worried about how you're going to take that or how you have taken that. But I feel like you guys have maintained some sort of connection. It could be just that it's online and that you're, you, maybe you're watching this person or they're watching you and sort of seeing how things sort of play out here. The world is telling me that you guys could be very different. You could be living at a distance from one another, but there's a beautiful success and a beautiful completion here. And this does speak to me as soulmate energy. We have Taurus, we have Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius energy there. Um, so again, there may be some obstacles. This person may be completing a very difficult cycle. Maybe they need to come out of a karmic connection. Maybe it has to do with work or health or finances. Okay, so it's going to be different for each and every one of you. Um, I do feel like there's sadness and there's grief here. Okay, now it could be because you guys are in separation. Okay, it could be because this is some sort of unforeseen circumstances or circumstance that has taken them away from you. But let's get some more information before I go on. So tell me about why is Virgo in this King of Cups energy? Okay, why is Virgo in this King of Cups energy? This beautiful King of Cups energy. All right, we get the Lady. All right, so 39. So I feel as if Virgo, you're, and I, as I was shuffling, I was sort of getting this message that they feel as if you are their anchor. I feel like this is divine masculine and divine feminine energy, but I think they also feel like emotionally that they can depend on you. Even if it might not feel that way right now, what your person is going through is really heavy and really intense. And I think you're trying to see things from their perspective as well. But I think you have this sort of feeling, this trust, this faith that you guys are going to come together. Okay. So we get the two of cups and this is clarified by the baby. Wow. So some of you guys may have children together. Some of you may see this person as somebody that needs to be nurtured, that you really want to take care of. There's just so much love here, Virgo, that's ex that you are exuding towards this person. It's like you want to nurture them. You want to take care of them. You may even call them baby as one of your pet names for them. Um, again, maybe um, you guys are thinking about having children together or you do have children. All right. Um, there could There could have also been, and I don't want to upset anybody, but there could have also been a loss of a child between the two of you. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and see the wheel, please. Why is the wheel here? All right. We get the umbrella 23 breaking down to a five. So I feel like many of you understand and have faith that whatever this grief and this sorrow, this loss might be, your person also may have lost a loved one. Okay. Maybe a parent or a sibling, or maybe a child. But I also feel like you know that the hard times, like the storm is coming to an end, that this relationship is divinely protected and it's it's destiny. That's what I'm getting. I feel like I feel like Virgo, you have this very unwavering faith about this being destiny for you. Okay. This person being, you know, a destined part of your journey to be a part of your life. So your person is showing up as the tower in reverse. They could be cleaning up after, you know, a difficult past as well. All right. And we get the book number 28, breaking down to a 10. So yeah, finishing up a very difficult cycle. So there have been a lot of really tough lessons for you and your person, but your person in particular, and they're learning from this. And I think they're there. I really do feel like they're trying to close out the past, something very difficult that happened to them. And you're just in this nurturing, loving energy, wanting to take care of them, be there for them. You know, it's really beautiful. They're seeing you as the nine of swords. I feel as if they might be a little bit worried that you're stuck or that their actions are going to, you know, keep you stuck in some way. Okay. Like they don't, it's almost like they don't want what they've done to affect you. Okay. And so they're a little bit worried about this. Um, again, you might spend sleepless nights thinking about them. You might wake up in the middle of the night thinking of them. That means they're thinking of you. All right, tombstone. Yeah, so there was some sort of ending here. I do feel like for many of you, this person went through a very difficult loss. Um, it could be, you know, it could be a parent, a sibling. For, for some of you, it is going to be a child or there was a miscarriage or something along those lines. I know that's really heavy energy, but I have to read it. I have to call it like I see it. 
All right. I feel like they're equally as worried about you, but there's something bigger that they really have to take care of. There's also a chapter in their life that they have to close out and clean up after. Okay, before they can have this victory with you, Virgo. Six of Wands energy is clarified by the Bellows, number 11. So yeah, it's almost like what you may have thought, or maybe they did, or maybe it was mutual. Um, whatever this grieving is, that there was an ending here. But it's this is a this number eleven is a very highly spiritual number, and it talks about your deep connection. But it's also about breathing new life, sparking a new flame between you guys. Okay, so something that maybe they thought was over, maybe they were also really worried about telling you about something. Okay, something in their past, or something they had done, and so they were really worried and hesitant about telling you because they thought that would be the end or that it would really upset you. Okay, but truthfully, that's not the case at all. Okay, so tell me about this Knight of Swords. It could be something that you found out online, something you saw, or something that they communicated to you as well. I feel like it was very sudden news, though. All right, so the Knight of Swords is being clarified by the man, number 40. So look at that. We do have divine counterparts coming out again. So you guys are absolutely, I feel like your person and you, you recognize that you are each other's person, that you guys are meant for each other, but there's some sort of difficult cycle that needs to be healed or a chapter that needs to be closed, either between you guys, okay, either it's a past disappointment, heartbreak, whatever it might be, or your person's past was kind of plaguing them and they're trying to take care of that so that they can move forward with you, okay? And I feel like you might feel alone, but you won't be for very long, Virgo. All right, look at this. This is, you know, I'm right on the money is what they're saying with this world card. This is going to be, you guys can be, you have the potential here to be a power couple. You have a potential for great stability and wealth and abundance if you guys come together, okay? Some of you guys are absolutely creating a family after some sort of loss. All right, now why is the five of cups here for Virgo and their person? Why is the five of cups here for Virgo and their person? All right, we get medicine. Yeah, somebody's healing. If you guys are not together, you guys are broken up or separated, this is definitely going to be healed. All right. 37 breaks down to a 10. The I is about protection. Look at that. We have the candle. Look, and we have more protection. There may have been a big blow up between you, some sort of news, um, but I do feel like this is divinely protected. For some of you, you're dealing with a twin flame or a soulmate energy. The I is about trusting your intuition and also about protection as you're closing out this difficult cycle. Where you have been grieving or they have been grieving, this relationship is being healed, Virgo. Okay, it absolutely is. So let's go ahead and get additional messages for Virgo, please, regarding the situation. It hasn't been easy, but I see you in that King of Cups energy. There's just so much love here for your person. You know, and these two, you know, he's looking right at her. I feel like, Virgo, you may resonate more as the Divine Masculine and your person the Divine Feminine. But again, take it how it resonates. Okay, Unleash. Everybody is getting this card, I swear. And I shuffle this deck a lot. 31, Unleash Your Creativity. So breaking down to a four, you guys are going to create stability and abundance when you open up to each other or when you guys come back together. Somebody here might be sort of like a little bit of like a wild child, somebody who might be a little bit funky, fashionable. Um, it could be you, Virgo. It could be them. I think you guys complement each other very well. There's also a very sort of sexy energy between you guys, okay? say what you mean. So again, there may have been a difficult discussion or an argument that led to the separation or emotional distance. Um, I do feel as if this is being healed, that maybe you needed time apart. And again, your person may be needing to close out a cycle or maybe told you something or you found something out about their past that um, led to some sort of argument here. Okay, and then we get Alchemy 25. This is your energy, Virgo, of the Magician. Um, 25 breaks down to a 7, a very highly spiritual number. Um, this is about transmuting, you know, taking difficult moments in your relationship or in your life and making them positive learning experiences. Um, you're creating something out of this. You're creating something positive out of something that may have been negative, like a blessing that comes out of turmoil. Um, this is also, I feel as if you're holding space, you're manifesting reconnection 
connection with this person or you know you're manifesting this soulmate connection for those of you where this isn't a past person and this often happens you know this is a past life soul connection okay so again you may be evolving separately and that may be what's been taking so long Okay, and this can be an energy that's moving towards you guys in February 2021. But I absolutely love the, this is about blending of two opposites, two people coming together, finding the missing pieces within each other. And we get have faith. I love this. Have faith 22, a very powerful master builder number. Okay, from for many of you, um, you know, you, you do, you just have this unwavering faith. You just have this inner knowing that this is your person, that you're coming together, that things are going to be healed. You know, this is confirmation of that. Okay. 22, the master builder number. It's also about love. It's about partnership. At the bottom of the deck, we get temptation 19 breaking down to a 10. All right. So again, I feel as if, look at this, and we do see these two sort of candles here that are being, that have been blown out. Some of you guys, you know, are worried or your person is really worried that, you know, that they won't be able to reignite this because of something that either you have seen or heard about their past or something about you, about seeing or hearing it online. I do feel like, you know, it created some sort of rift between you, but I do see that new life and victory is being breathed back into this connection. Okay. And that doesn't, you know, the temptation card doesn't have to be a third party. You know, it could be learning about something about their past, you know, that maybe was a red flag for you. All right, so let's go ahead and see. We get heal. Okay, so Aquarius energy. So the need to trust your intuition when there are moments of doubt, especially, you know, I feel like Virgo, you might have a tendency to overthink, but I feel like you're in this positive loving energy, but just a reminder to trust your intuition, trust what you know. Okay, that, you know, that, that things are being healed, okay, at this very moment. And have faith that love is coming. All right, we get the Six of Wands in reverse. Okay, so again, you guys could be in separation if you guys are married or you guys were once together. Again, I feel like your person has experienced a lot of challenges. Maybe learning some, some lessons that are tied to the ego. Or maybe there was a lot of competition for, you know, their affection. Um, with this temptation card, it could be, you know, it could be that your person wasn't quite committing. All right, we get lead, emperor energy. So there's that divine masculine, that daddy energy. But I'm also getting, you know, there's a lot of shadow work and there's some tough lessons that have been learned as a result of this connection um, or of this separation or whatever you guys are going through. But I do see you stepping up, Virgo. Okay. And we see shine. So beautiful. This is the sun card. So ultimate happiness. For those of you, um, you know, this, this may be, you know, twin flame energy. It could be a deep soul connection. It could also speak to having children. You know, the sun card is oftentimes there are children depicted on it. Um, it can be that, you know, this is your soulmate. Maybe this is a past person, somebody you knew from childhood, but many of you guys absolutely are coming together to co-create something beautiful, something you've been waiting for. At the bottom of the deck, look at this. We get the devil in reverse. Somebody's heart has been in a cage and this is being released. This is being healed. This is being purged. I really feel like it's your person, but you guys are leaving the difficulties behind. You're leaving the age of Capricorn behind, moving into Aquarius, an absolutely new beginning where you're not going to be alone for very long, Virgo. Mm, I love it. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm going to pull some naughty cards just to get some more information for my dear Virgos about this situation, how you guys are feeling towards each other. All right, we get... I didn't believe I could ever meet someone as rare as you. Now that I've found you, I cannot let you go. Yeah, and even if you guys aren't together, Virgo, it's like you're not letting go. You're not giving up on this connection. You have faith. It's like you just know this is your person. And your person, I can't get you out of my head. The pain of not knowing where we stand eats at me every second of the day. So again, this person, they're thinking about you. And again, if you're dreaming about this person, if you're waking up in the middle of the night thinking about them, you know, if you guys are in separation, whatever your person is dealing with, um, they may not be expressing, Virgo, how much they want to be with you, how much they love you, but they absolutely do. But I do feel like they're dealing with some heavy energy, something having to do with their past. Being bound to you spiritually is one thing, but being tied up by you as physically is my greatest pleasure. Ooh, okay. So a little bit of, you know, a little bit of, you know, playing out some kinks and some eroticism there. I love it. 
and we get when two hearts are meant to be together, no matter how long it takes, no matter how far they go, no matter how tough it seems, love will bring them together to share a life forever. Yes, Virgo, that is so romantic. Yeah, so again, there's that distance, that separation, but it's like you just know you're coming back together. And again, this could be, again, you guys kind of meeting in the dream space. Um, we have a lot of, we have Uranus going direct. We also have Neptune um, in Pisces, you know, conjunct the moon. I think that's what, what the energy is towards the end of this week. And so you guys are really going to have a lot of telepathy. You guys are going to be dreaming about each other, thinking about each other, feeling each other's feelings. So, wow, Virgo. I am happy to be a Virgo, right? Oh my goodness. And there's just, this is a spiritual connection. This is definitely something that you feel is absolutely written in the stars. So we get new love and we also get deception that wanted to come out. Okay. So again, I do feel like maybe you found out something about this person or their past. Okay. Um, so we get love yourself first. So some of the difficult lessons that you're learning um, in separation or from this connection is the importance of loving yourself. And I think your person too, they're realizing they've got some work to do here. Okay. And we get forgiving and learning. So there's your reconciliation. It's right on top of the book. Your person is also learning some tough lessons. All right, we get flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. This may have been something that caused a bit of an issue, maybe part of this temptation card, because I do get that, you know, Virgo, it could be you or it could be your person that tends to get a lot of attention from others. So there could have been some jealousy here. But I do feel like also you're just, I, I don't, I feel like you are devoted to this person. Um, you know, with that King of Cups energy, I feel like you're just looking straight at your person. And we get finances and career. Okay, so financial issues are a factor in your love life and let your friends help you. Okay, and also I'm gonna put out there, keep an open mind because your soulmate may differ. So again, I do feel like you guys could fr come from different backgrounds with the world card. It could be that you're different races, different, you know, even if you're from the same city, it could be you come from different, you know, you were raised in very different places. So that really shapes who you are and your love language can be very different. Um, you could have an age difference. Again, somebody here might be struggling financially while the other is, you know, quite stable. But we also have separation. So I'm picking up on this separation. And then we have worth waiting for. Okay, so Virgo, I do feel like you're in this energy of holding space for your person. You're waiting for this person um, to just work out what it is that they need to. And, and you just want to love and to nurture and to and to take care of them. It's It's beautiful. It's a really beautiful energy. Virgo, they are very lucky to have you, okay? And I think they're realizing that if they don't already. All right, so let's go ahead and see what else comes through. We get reflection, so mirroring each other, but give each other some, some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best, absolutely. And there's that have faith card again. So again, some of you guys will be marrying this person or are married to this person, Okay, and again, that faith card is, this is written in the stars. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Yeah, and that's your energy in the King of Cups. Like, you know, you just know, Virgo. Okay, we get healing. Yeah, beautiful. So imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. Yes, repeating message for us. Um, it's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself. Perfect. And we get the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Wow, Virgo. And they've just asked me to go one more. So we'll go ahead and do one more card. One final card for my Virgos. This one comes out. Wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So everything is unfolding exactly the way it's supposed to in divine timing, Virgo. There's no need to rush, no need to push. And I think you're you're actually okay with this, okay? Yeah, I feel this sense of calm around you. All right, you guys, I hope you found um, clarity and guidance in these messages. I love you so much. Thank you for listening. Have a beautiful day. Take care.